Hi, welcome back to Cooking with Grandpa. Have you enjoyed your Christmas and our eggclairs that we made for Christmas? I hope they're all gone. Today we're going to make a cornmeal cake. It's an almond cornmeal cake. It's very popular over in Italy. It's similar to a pound cake. And we're going to get started. We're going to prepare our tray. Okay, I forgot to tell you. In the bottom, in the description, you'll always find all the ingredients and the amounts. Now we're going to prepare our, uh, our pan, our loaf pan. The creator gave us two good tools. I put a little butter on the side with a knife and use these two fingers is the best way I found of greasing a pan. Of course, I clean my hands very well. <laughs> now, when that's done, okay. now we take this over here. You can do it with flour, but today we're going to do it with a little corn cornmeal because we're making a cornmeal cake. I'm dusting it with a little cornmeal. Get it all around. And then put piece of parchment paper on the bottom and you will set with that okay on our next procedure we're gonna have to get four egg yolks and of course I washed my hands again because I use my hands for separation and it's always best to do the yolks when you got to separate them when they're cold so what I do give it a good crack let it fall in your hand. There's one yolk and one white. Take that and leave it in there. You're going to need four yolks. Okay, so we got our four egg yolks, and we got our two whole eggs. Now here's the whites from our four egg yolks. Now this is a little trick that I use. I take these egg yolks, and I put them in a plastic bag like this. Tie them up loose for now and, and put them in a freezer and freeze them. And you're gonna use these egg whites when you make an angel food cake or when you make one of our co coconut macaroons recipes that we have above. Freeze this up, when it gets frozen, then you can tighten it. Don't tighten it right away because it'll break the plastic. Okay, we got our egg yolks, we got our two whole eggs, and we got our butter. And we got almond paste. This is what makes this cake great. Now this almond paste is another trick. Take out what you need, a quarter of a cup, put it back in the box, seal it up, and put this in the freezer and save it. And it'll stay for a long time in the freezer. Okay, so we got our butter. We're putting that in here. Chopped it up a little bit. I try to have everything around 60 degrees when you're gonna start creaming. See how I'm pasting that too. And here's our sugar, powdered sugar. We use it today. I'm gonna put this on. Okay. Put this on the mixer. Put our powder in. Gonna cream this for a good 
you know, eight minutes maybe. Not too fast when you start it, number one. And number two, you don't want to go over too fast the speed because you want little bubbles when it's cleaning. You don't want big air bubbles, you want little bubbles. Okay, you started the creaming. I got it up to around speed six, roughly. And that's good. And every once in a while, stop it and clean the sides down. You want this to get about eight minutes till it gets nice and light and fluffy. Okay, as you can see, we've gone about five, six, seven minutes, nice and creamy. We're gonna start adding our egg yolks one at a time. And like I say, you mix it in for about a couple of minutes, wipe down the sides, and you keep doing this until you get all your eggs incorporated. Okay, we're almost ready now to add, add our last egg. Right now, I'm going to throw in our flavoring, vanilla and almond extract this. And this is our last whole egg I'm going to add. Don't want it to curdle, so keep it going. If you think you're ever going to see it curdling a little, throw a little of your flour in there. It won't harm the cake in any way. And we're gonna clean this up a little bit. And we'll get back to you. Okay, now we're gonna add our flour. Creamed up nice, smooth, light and rough, fluffy. This is cornmeal, cake flour, and the baking powder. We didn't mix it all together. I sifted them three times. So we're gonna add this in about a third at a time as we put it on stir. Okay, so we have it all creamed up. We're making this cake tonight for my daughter. It's her birthday. She likes this cake. So we'll be celebrating her birthday, but no blowing out the candles with the cold. Put this in a 350 oven for about 40 minutes. Test it with a toothpick or a wood thermometer. Want it about 198. Doing it with a thermometer. When the toothpick just comes out clean, you're okay. Okay, so we're going in. Okay, this has been in about 40 minutes. I'm gonna test it. I think it's kind of done from what I'm looking at. I'm putting it in my meter. We're coming up with about 199, 200. That looks good. And this, 
and the needle came out nice and clean. So we'll take this out, put this here. And we're going to time this for about uh, 15 minutes before we dump it out. Okay, we'll get back to you. Okay, we waited about 15 minutes now. And we're just going to take this here, go alongside it. Okay, thanks for watching and come back soon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell that notifies you of all our up and coming videos. See you soon.